Just a really quick update today, you guys. So have you ever heard that country song by Lone Star, that Mr. Mom song? Have you heard that before? That's what my life has been since Thursday. It's been crazy. My wife has been out of town, and I've had the kids since Thursday. Would you have ever thought it? Would you ever known it? So long story short, I've been thinking a lot about my Sunday uploads. I have over 100 videos that I've never posted on YouTube before, just 100 videos that I've done for the dealership. But they're very informative. Like There's a ton of stuff in those videos that would help people that were interested in those cars. So I'm going to start a new series every Sunday instead of me doing an upload uh, like from that day kind of like I'm doing right now I'm gonna post a um, an upload from those hundred videos I think you'll really like it and I think it'll be kind of informative in those videos there is some cinematics I mean there's some cool stuff in there so this is my first season one episode one is what we're gonna call it of Sunday uploads and then I'll give you a recap um, at the end of them generally but today like I said I'm playing mr. mom so I'm just gonna kind of improv it Episode 1, Season 1, my very first video ever. This is it. This is my very first video I ever did. So, I hope you like it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Does it get any nicer than this? The answer is no. My name's Cody Reed and I'm the general sales manager at Opekin Motors in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Tonight I have the luxury of driving 2016 GMC Denali, three quarter ton, 2500 gas motor. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this specific truck. It's only got 1700 miles on it. It's practically brand new, but there's nothing that beats a GMC Sierra Denali in my opinion. My Ford guys, the Ford guys down the road from me might argue with me and say the Ford F-150 or Ford F-250 is far superior, but in my opinion, they're wrong. This thing is a beast. One thing that really stands out about this specific Denali is that it's pre-owned, one. <laughs> it's not a new 16, um, and it's only got 1,700 miles on it. So even though it's pre-owned, it's already been titled, it might as well be a new truck. The good news is, it's thousands of dollars less. There goes my cheesy car salesman stuff, right? It's a lot less money than a brand new truck, but it does not lack anything. Tonight I'm gonna to show you some of the things that this truck has. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you're looking at this truck, you've probably already looked up towing capacities. You've probably already looked up horsepower, and quite frankly, I'm not car and driver, so I'm not gonna go over that information. I'm merely talking about interior amenities, ride, handling, and physical, like pretty much just physical feel and touch, uh, touch and smell. Obviously it smells brand new because it's practically brand new, um, but the rest of this stuff is what I'm getting ready to dig into. Typically the old GMCs would be really bumpy rides. One thing General Motors has done a really good job with was putting something in the back or leveling out the back to make sure that the, the rod is very stable. The three quarter ton trucks in general kind of have a bad name for that. Now we all know once you put weight in the bed, once you hook up a trailer, it's not going to be as bad as what it is empty. Um, but for the most part, we're driving on these trucks. Most people are driving on these trucks empty most of the time. So it's imperative that you get a decent rod out of them. And like I said, you're, there, the bump is gone. The first thing that grabs your attention is the really, really bright instrument cluster that this truck has. It almost kind of reminds me of the old Corvettes they have, or not old Corvettes, but the Corvettes have heads up display. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's kind of in your face, but it's not in your way. Uh, and it's real bright, so you can definitely see how fast you're going. You can definitely see uh, your tachometer. You can definitely see everything, your fuel gauge, without really having to strain your eyes, or not really having to like move your head to, to see it. This truck is a big truck, but it's not, I don't feel like I'm having to like hold the wheel inside traffic in order to stay in my lane. Just like last night in the Cadillac ATS, 
I told you I could steer that car with one finger. I, I mean, realistically, I could sit back and steer this thing with one hand, no problem, and not feel uncomfortable. Now, obviously, it's not my truck, so we're not gonna do that. Um, but like I said, as big of a truck as this is, you'd think that the thing would be taking up the whole lane and you'd be on the steering wheel, especially in tight traffic, and that's not the case. Okay, guys, there's no secret. This is my favorite part of the show. And the reason why, or my favorite part of the walk around, is because we don't beat cars up or trucks up, but we get to see really what these trucks are made of. So I told you last night we had an open stretch to what we were to where we were going to uh, be able to hit it a little bit. That same stretch is in effect, so we're going to slow this thing down a little bit and hit it so that way you can see. I have Sprint as my provider and I do have an iPhone 7. So once I connect the phone up tether wise, right, meaning that I got it plugged in. By the way, there's a ton of power here. If you're looking for power, there's a ton of power. You got 120, two, a, a, two uh, converters, two cigarette lighters, and, a US, and two USBs as well. But I can plug it into either one. So I plug it in and this is what it looks like. Um, all of my messages are gonna be right up top. To whom should I send your message? So there's all of my messages to everyone that I was talking to. Um, Papa Smurf, how about that? Terry, uh, Terry Mama. So once I once I see it, all I gotta do is just click the message. Go and then, ahead. And then it'll uh, voice command me to send the message back to them. Your message. To whom should I send your message? So as you can see, if I click the person's name, it's going to Go ahead. It's going to ask me what to say. And and then it would send it inside that message. So I'm going to go back and just click music. Uh there's my music. So um it's real big, it's very easy to see. Um and this will go through all of the music that's that's already downloaded onto my phone. Obviously, we got Lincoln Park. Hit the play button, turn the volume up, and the Bose speakers will start playing. Another cool thing, too, is maps. This specific one has built in navigation, but uh, you really don't need it. So, there's my map through Google Maps on my iPhone, and I'm going to just say that I want to go to East Muller Avenue, which is where Opekin's at. We are. 51 minutes uh, 51 minutes away and our estimated time of arrival is 902 I can click right on the uh, Apple CarPlay app and hit for guidance and then it's gonna take me there Starting route to 838 D Smoller Avenue and this is exactly Casper Drive then turn left onto Golf Drive North That's just displaying exactly what's on my uh, phone So it's very nice. I'm gonna turn the guidance off because I already know how to get there and we'll go back to the home menu. We'll go back to the home menu and here's what it looks like. Audiobooks, Pandora, which is one of my favorites. Um, obviously we all have our music downloaded, but Pandora is really, really nice feature to be able to just jump right in and click your playlist and move on. Also to my phone, right? We know that the truck has... We know that this truck has Bluetooth, um, but I can see all of my recent call lists, my contacts, A to Z, so there's all of my contacts. And then I can also keypad in, manually enter a phone number. That's it. There's my manually entered phone number. And then voicemails, I can click my voicemails, and that's going to show them to me then that way as well and favorites. How many bars I have, the time, and uh, the signal of which that uh, I'm getting from my phone. I really appreciate you checking in on this truck today. If it interests you, you can find it at opeckinmotors.com. As always, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, 
anything. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Have a great day. Thanks. See you soon.